What's going on guys, me David here back for another shave and I'm actually coming to you from this restroom at six in the morning. Yes, it's very uncommon for me to do a shave video in the morning, man, but today is game day. Today we have our first official game of the season. I'm excited and I just thought, you know, it called for a fresh shave, you know, so I got up a little bit earlier and I wanted to get this in. Today, we're gonna be using a new scent from my boy Peter over at Ariana and I'm Straighten this out a little bit. There you go. I'm using Aqua de Bor whatever, Borokai. There you go. You got the little topless mermaid over there with either heart shaped nipples or uh, heart shaped pasties. One, one or the other. You know, you tell me. This is in the Kaizen 2E, which of course has that fucking emu oil, which it's a fantastic base. I don't know what the hell the emu oil actually does, but it is great. Also very exciting. Got in a got in a big ass tub sample. It's a whole ass tub a sample of a special project we got going on. I have mentioned it before. I love the scent. Uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll, I, I love the scent. I really, really, really do. But I am going to send that to the person that I am trying to do this so for and see how he feels about the scent. I love the scent, but doesn't mean he will. So, it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. Bam. Look at that. Easy low. I was blooming this pup. Oh. This right here is, if you have it, if I did I say it already? I don't remember. This is an aquatic scent. I do enjoy it. Very, very different than the undersea. So if you're concerned that it might be pretty much just duplicating that, no. If you like aquatic scents, you'll enjoy this. But if you have the undersea, it is very different. Now, how you do that type of stuff, I don't know. I have never actually mixed up any fragrances, and of course, I don't think most fucking the average person actually has. It's kind of like a fucking weird ass random thing to be doing. So I've never had no need to, but I do enjoy smelling these already mixed up stuff and giving my opinion. Man, so going to be. A exciting day, man. Season really kicking off. It just it just feels different. Every step you take when, during one of these football seasons, it gets a little bit more exciting. A little bit more exciting. First, you show up in the summer for regular ass practices. You're you're meeting the new kids. You're getting all that going on. Cool experience. Where practice then starts to pick up then is first day of pads. First day when you actually get your whole, and again, with the vector. Beautiful. Once you finally get the football pads on, a whole new level of excitement comes in. Because you really actually get to see, and it never fails. No matter how long I've been doing this, every single year, somebody, when they put those pads on, will surprise you. Because, let's face it, Running into another human being while running full speed isn't something naturally that you're fucking trying to do. In most cases. But some kids get those pads on and it just opens up something in them. They move a little bit different. You see how truly aggressive they are because you always got to hold back to a certain extent uh, without pads. Especially if the style of stuff, things you're doing, is very physical, it it's never really gonna quite look right without pads, because you could only do so much contact, you know, skin on skin, so to speak. That's a little bit weird. Okay, probably could have put that a little bit better. Whatever. So you the so the offense. The style of defense we want to run, it all takes shape when we get pads on. Because now you can really see uh, the capabilities. 
at least initially, uh, of some of these kids. And then, and it is just not, for whatever reason, it's not just excitement. It actually does give you a different little buzz each step. So we had the scrimmage last week. You get excited for that. And then now today, the very first game, another step up. Then you feel a little bit of a different feeling once we get into actual our league play. And then if you qualify for playoffs, that's a whole other feeling too, man. It's just, you get a real pep in your step. That's something I never get tired of. All right. End of the first and final pass. Mm -hmm. So I haven't smelled undersea in a while. I have to go find it because, you know, we just have so much crap and kind of lose track of stuff. But if I remember correctly, undersea almost, I think, was a little bit like a sweeter scent. This one has much more of a nice cologne scent to me. So this really does remind me of an aquatic, actual cologne, perfume, uh, fragrance, not just uh, the scent. So, so I, I think I prefer this one to the undersea personally. Undersea is fantastic. I really love that undersea. But again, this one gives me the, the man cologne vibes, the fucking going out to the club type shit. This is really, really nice. And that's something that I kind of miss in the community. We don't get... Every time we get a cologne-type scent, it's a dupe, which I have no problem with dupes. But it is always nice to see somebody get those creative juices flowing and create something that smells like a cologne, but is not something that you just find readily at your local store. It's going to be a nice first shave for game day. Kind of exciting, kind of exciting. It just felt appropriate. It felt appropriate to have a fresh shave going into today. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can hear it, but we have a Last Man Standing. I don't know. I've never really heard many people talk about it, but it's a show that uh, I think it just ended maybe about a year ago. Starring Tim Allen. Where, and from what I hear, this is actually how he's in real life. He's super uh, right wing. It's pretty funny. It's pretty funny, even though I don't lean uh, to the right like that, which is not that important. But I find it amusing. I'm not one of those fucking uh, people that has a stick up their ass. I can't enjoy some shit that's maybe not quite made for me. Very amusing. Very, very amusing. Oh, man. So it's funny. Every group of kids that I get is very different. I'm a lineman coach. So I take typically dealing with the big boys. Every group I get is a little bit different. This group found my uh, social medias very early on. So of course they looked through all my stuff, my pages and all my pictures and now they've gotten into the point where I get a bunch of them tech, uh, messaging me on there. Good morning, good afternoon and good night. Uh, Apparently, it's a big old fun and game for them. It's amusing. They're go this is a very goofy bunch. Very, very goofy bunch, man. They're probably the most entertaining group of kids I've had. They're, they're just tons of personality. They get a little diff difficult to kind of rein in. Uh, they don't like to focus whatsoever, but they're all likable. It's, it's kind of a weird situation. Yeah, you, you think that when kids can't sit still and they can't focus, you you feel like they're being disrespectful. They're not. They're just they're just goofy. It's like herding cats. It just really is. They're just they're that much. 
they're that kind of off the wall that it's entertaining. Can it get frustrating sometimes? Absolutely, but they are just funny as hell, dude. And this year being a little special, having the, my nephews there, he is uh, looking really good. Looking really good. We had a, had a little bit of a scare the other day. Uh, he took a little bit of a weird fall. Uh, he stepped a little weird on the turf. His cleat got stuck and he flipped over. Really thought that he had uh, potentially injured himself on that, man. Turf is a bitch to play on. Uh, so, well, hello, honey. You want to say hi? You want appropriately? Hi. Hello. Still no hello? <laughs> you don't have to. You choose to go on this earth. Oh, I'm sorry. I choose to be a really hardworking and responsible employee. Oh, my God. They don't appreciate it. That, you are correct. When you don't appreciate shit, you just get the bare minimum of what I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I have a, I'm a better person than you are, but I think we all know I am. Oh, no. I wouldn't say that necessarily. Mm -hmm. You're just a try hard. Yeah, so when he stepped wrong, his cleat stuck, he actually flipped over. It, it was bad. We've seen similar things like that happen, and it's a potential, uh, like, uh, torn meniscus, torn ACL. Some real damage could be happy. Luckily, he is a lighter guy. He's a running back, our primary running back on the, on the, on the Frost Off team. And... It ended up just like he kind of like strained his thigh a little bit, moment like a Charlie horse, uh, because already yesterday when it happened, he could not put any weight on it. He couldn't stand on his own. Some of the big boys came, picked him up, and took him over there. Um, then luckily yesterday he felt good. He was moving around. He was bending, so he he feels good enough to play. And actually, he's probably close to about ninety five percent based on my conversations with him, uh, his dad, and everything. So. He's good to go, but it was a scary side. I would have hated to see his season like that. And it was an injury that happened. We, what didn't need to be practicing. Varsity, after our practice ends, Varsity likes to go up and have him up there with them, run some plays with them, get a feel for the speed of the Varsity level. Um, they like him. So it, it would have just been a shame if he actually got that injury. Practicing when it wasn't necessary. So it was, it was like an intense, like, oh, shit, like, what's going on? All right, damn. That was the end of the third and final pass. I've been fucking really active talking today. Uh, again, I'm in a good mood. It's fucking 6 in the morning, or now probably 6.15-ish, and um, I'm pumped up. So we're going to go ahead and wash this off and come back for the final thoughts. All righty, I am back. So Peter didn't send the matching after Shea Splash, which is not a problem. And just full disclosure, Peter did send me that, uh, that soap. So, but... I just want something that smells good. Does it go with it? Not really, but I'm going to go ahead and use PAA Harvest Moon. I've been really enjoying these old PAAs uh, aftershaves. They're just, honestly, they they were at one point. Well, I still think PAA has the best aftershaves, but back then I feel that they were better. I love the alum and the formula. Uh, these aftershaves just work the best for me, dude. I really, really enjoy them. They're, they're just, they were very special aftershaves in my opinion. And of course, the community being what it is, has to ruin shit by bitching all the time. So, um, this was, that was a situation where I really wish Douglas stuck to his guns. He'll stick to his guns with the fucking, some of the hideous labels he's making right now, but won't stick to his guns with the, the great formula that this was, man. I really, really miss it. Again, the current ones are fucking fantastic, but these were better. So just because these were better doesn't make those bad, but they're just not as good as these. Just kind of is what it is, but that is unfortunate. But here we are. Here we are. And Aqua de whatever the fuck this name is. It is a fantastic scent. Fantastic scent. This is going to be more of a cologne style aquatic scent. So if that interests you, pick it up. I really do fucking enjoy it. I do prefer it over the undersea. But it does, again, kind of like with aftershaves, it does not mean that under, <laughs> undersea's bad. It's a fucking great scent. That fucking label, though, was ew. Ew. But this right here, this actually fits a little bit more my preference. I do enjoy that more cologne, cologne-y feel to it. I, I hope you guys understand what that is because uh, 
I'm not the best at describing this stuff. I enjoy describing it, but I'm still not that good at it. So there's that. And anyways, guys. Oh, just so you guys know, I did, well, I did use uh, Smiles for Miles custom brush. This was given to me by Nate. You know, one of the boys over at BBS Live. Love and miss you, Nate. It's been a while since we've really talked. Hope you are doing well. Ben is looking absolutely dashing uh, when I see you posting on him. So I'm happy to see that he's growing. He looks healthy. A fucking vibrant baby boy, man. That's so fucking cool. So, hey, guys. That being said, we're done. It's over. Pick up some fucking aqua de Boracay. I don't know what the fuck that is. I really don't. But, hey, it's still good, though. I don't have to know what the hell that name is to fucking know that it's pretty goddamn good. So, hey guys, stay safe, stay healthy, wish us good luck on this fucking season, hopefully the boys stay safe, stay healthy, and I wish the same for you guys, I'll catch you on the next shave.